Hey, well, it's Misha with As Long As You're Breathing. So I heard from someone um, about the communication video I did this morning, and they're like, so you know, you were so right about that. We, we communicated, and so we're all good now, right? And I'm like, well, it's a start. And they're like, what do you mean it's a start? Um, I took control, and um, we're communicating now, and I'll just keep, I'll stay in control, and we'll just keep communicating, and it's all gonna be good, right? And I'm like, well, you took control and you started communicating, but you, you can't always be the one in control doing all the communicating. It's got to be a back and forth. It's got to be a give and take. It's got to be both of you are communicating. But <laughs> I, I don't see this person doing that. I mean, they're going to answer me, but I'm like, well, in the work environment, there is a leader. <laughs> There's a boss. Uh, there, there's a, a someone who is taking control. Yes, and there can only be one head honcho. You know, somebody that's in charge, somebody that's responsible. The relationship is a little different. Um, there, there can't be one who is in control of everything. That's that's very different. A relationship is both people, and nobody is in control of the other person. Both people are being who they are, and so it's got to be a positive energy loop where it's a back and forth. You're both taking control of the communication. You're taking control and initiating it, but then they respond, but then they are also taking control and they're maintaining the, the initiation of the conversation of the back and forth. Maybe next time they're the one who brings up that there's something the two of you need to talk about. Or they're making sure that um, that the, the back and forth flow is going. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure this person will do that. Well, then there's a problem there too. You see, both people have to want the back and forth. There can't be a quote unquote boss or leader in a relationship. Relationship has to be, well, it has to have continuous energy loop it has to be both people want the relationship it can't be one person wants a relationship and one person wants to be a passive partner <laughs> who's just kind of there and yeah we've got a great relationship I'm here and she manages it or I'm here and he manages it I participate and that person does all the work and I give an opinion now and again that's that's not a relationship a relationship is um, the communication is so each person can communicate about who they really are and be who they really are and so you can mirror back and forth to one another and continue to grow and become better and better versions of yourself that's why you're in a relationship to begin with you see we're not in a relationship to we're in relationship so we can see ourselves reflected back and keep becoming better and better versions of ourselves. And so we can have that third dimension so we can show up in our own energy, each of us. And then we each put energy into that third dimension and then we have exponential amount of energy. And then we show up in the world exponentially. Our mark on the world is exponential because of being in relationship. So one person doing all the leading, one person being in control of all the communication, then only that one person is having an exponential impact. And so then you're back to a dysfunctional relationship. So no. Um, it's a good thing for one person to take control and get communication flowing. But then it's got to be both people going back and forth. So yes, it's great if you're the one that gets the lines of communication flowing. But you can't be the one who always keep the lines of communication flowing. If they're not showing interest by next time it's them, or maybe not the next time, but the next time it's them, then they're not really interested in the relationship. They're not understanding the exponential value of mirroring back and forth with you or perhaps maybe it's not with you maybe it's they're not seeing the value of mirroring back and forth with anyone they haven't come to terms yet with 
the value of relationship. So it's not about you. Don't take it personally. Just move on and put the energy out there to find someone, to attract someone into your life that does understand the exponential value of being in relationship. Don't take it personally. It's not about you. It's about the other person. Okay? All right. Hope that clarifies that. And um, thank you for reaching out, though, and letting me know. Um, and good for you, though, for taking the leap. That is um, that's brave and bold of you. And that is, um, that's what we have to be, is brave and bold, not passive. Life is always moving. And so we have to choose how we move. That's living in great big capital letters.